and environment. It bugs me every time she says that. Environment doesn't even start with an R. Hold it. Isn't this the paper bin? Sure, but what is this? 10 new slimming diets for your goldfish? The staple is metal. You can't put metal in the paper bin, silly. At least you stopped sorting them alphabetically. Jackpot! Can you believe someone threw this out? Charlie, you're only supposed to reuse the good trash. Trash? I bet these are ancient relics. Who knows what stood here thousands of years ago? This says it was made in Japan. That's only one of the mysteries the amateur archaeologist has to solve. Like this thing. Is it a priceless crystal? Or an old glass doorknob? <laughs> <laughs> Laugh all you want. People also used to make fun of that guy who discovered King Tut's tomb. Whoa! Ugh. Hey, what's this? Cool! Testing! Testing! Atlantis Construction. Phew! I thought it was an earthquake. It sure felt like one. What button did you press? Okay, everybody out. This is now private property. Says who? Says this permit. Now get out of here. Flatten everything. My archaeological dig. Get this cat away from my tuna fish sandwich. What about our recycling program? This is now private property. So scram. <laughs> Venus the Milo! I knew it! Do you know how much this is worth? About a nickel. The real one's in France, and it's actually a little bigger than the picture. So City Hall just up and cancelled the clean air campaign and told us not to bother coming back. No explanation. I'm sure that Mr. Gibraltar knows a thing or two about it. Atlantean courts. A strip mall instead of an archaeological dig? Sheesh! People have no respect for history. That must be the office. It's you kids again! We just want to know why you won't let us finish our cleanup. This is my land now, and I can do what I want. Meow! That cat again! I hate cats! He just wants your tuna fish sandwich. Can I at least finish my archaeological dig, please? I mean, look at all the ancient relics I've found already. Hey! So you've been stealing from my land, have you? Now hear this! This is my property, and trespassers will be arrested! Ah! Another earthquake! <laughs> this is neat. <laughs> well, <clears throat> I won't press charges this time. Meow. And take that darn cat with you. Meow. He's no contractor. And that's no ordinary toy bullhorn. Try Merman. Six million five hundred and ninety-three hits? We'll never find it. What if you add conch shells? Just some site on Atlantis. This is hopeless. It's Mr. Gibraltar. Raising Atlantis? Why was he looking at the same site we were? Because he's not really Mr. Gibraltar. Look! There's the conch shell. Legend has it that upon blowing into the shell three times before sunset, Atlantis will once more rise from the depths and be restored to its former greatness. That must be what he's up to. He wants to bring Atlantis back. Lots of archaeologists have spent years looking for Atlantis. Isn't it supposed to be somewhere under the Atlantic Ocean? That explains why they never found it. They were looking in the wrong place. Come on. Atlantis was an island. If an island rises right in the middle of our town, we'll be completely flooded. We still have lots of time. He only blew into the shell once. But you blew into it, too. I bet that's what summoned Neptune. We need to find a way to stop him before he blows into it again. 
the Atlantean crystal. Where have I seen this before? Says here it's the only thing that can stop him. I told you this thing was valuable. How do you know it's the real thing? Let's test it out in the dark. Whoa! Why is it glowing like that? It must mean that Atlantis is coming back. We haven't much time. He promised to clean up the landfill before a building, but they're just burying the trash. I told you goody goodies that I'd have you all arrested for trespassing. You thought you could bring back Atlantis, but you underestimated Mona the Vampire. <sighs> Meet your end, Neptune. <laughs> Another villain bites the dust. What is it? Uh oh, didn't work. Why don't you do some policing and arrest the little troublemakers? Believe me, it's better to just let Mona here run her course. They're leaving. Okay, plan B. We'll sneak into the office and take the conch shell. That way, he won't be able to complete the raising of Atlantis. There it is! Someone's coming! Quick, in here! Mmm, tuna. Ouch! Charlie, watch your elbow. That wasn't me. I dropped the bullhorn. I almost have it. Hey, you and that cat again. Don't you kids ever go home. We will. Catch! That's my toy bullhorn. Give it back. We're locked in. I said go away, cat. Maybe there's another way out. Atlantis is already starting to rise. We're being flooded. Give me back the shell. Okay, here you go. No, Charlie. All we have to do is last until sunset. You hear that, you overgrown guppy? How dare you challenge me? Yow! Is that the best you can do? Just warming up, actually. How about this? <gasps> ah! We'll be okay as long as we stay together. Charlie, why are you shivering? That's not me. Then what? Crabs! I hate crabs! Mona! Are those sharks? No, they're dolphins. Whoa! Wait a minute! Dolphins are supposed to be cuddly! Give up, Mona. Not as long as I've got this. Fine. Have it your way. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no! Why try and save your town? It's a small price to pay for the return of Atlantis. Join me, children! Never! For one thing, you <laughs> smell fishy. I'll give you a few minutes to think about my offer. But no cats! That's it! The answer was on the printout! Fang, you smart kitty! Come on, Charlie! Give me a boost! Ow! Now, give me the crystal! You already tried that once. It's harmless against me. I'm not going to use it against you this time. What's happening? Looks like Atlantis isn't up to building code, Neptune. What have you done? I'll get you for this. Hey, what are you kids doing here? It's not safe for you to play here, you know. Sorry, we were just saving the town from a crazed sea god. How about you? The mayor sent me to shut down this place for polluting and unsafe building practices. 
You seen that Gibraltar guy anywhere? I think he may have gone underground. And now I present to you Neptune's World, built over the properly cleaned up city dump. Wow. Why, thank you. I'm not sure this is much of an improvement. I've had enough of the Atlantis theme for a while. Oh. Come on, I'm starving. I hear they serve crabs. And I've got a score to settle. Fang, come here. Sorry, mister. Nice one, Mona. Great shot, Lily. I think that was in. What is it, Mona? Look. Looks like some kind of bugs. Yeah, shad flies. Hey, it looked like they dive bombed you, Mona. Yeah. But isn't it a bit too early for shadfly season? Hmm. According to this almanac, shadfly season is over three weeks away. Hmm. Hello, children. More shadflies. Reverend Gregory, look out! Oh, 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 oh my. I guess those shadflies distracted me. It was quite a swarm. Shadfly season isn't supposed to start for nearly another month. Oh, really? How odd. Well, thanks for your help. So long. Bye. Come on. Let's see where they're headed. Yuck. Can you smell the swamp? I bet that's where they've gone. Behind that old house. Yeah. Hey. There's someone in there. What a strange-looking radio. 86 <gasps> yourselves from that square people, you possums! He's speaking in some kind of code. I think he wants us to leave. Code red, airborne eyes, 10-4, in the sky, invaders in sight. Oh, no! They're attacking! Shoot! Shoot! Hey, wait up! That man with the radio seemed to be controlling them. Yeah. It looks like once he gave the signal, they attacked! This is really strange. I think we better pay a little visit to Officer Halcroft. What is it now, Mona? Well, I'm sure you've noticed the winged invasion that's hit town. The what? Oh, yes, the worst shadfly season I've seen in years. But those are no ordinary shadflies. They seem to be under the control of that man who lives in the old house by the swamp. That would be old man McCullen. He's a harmless old eccentric. He's certainly not dangerous. <laughs> In the old days, I think he and Mrs. Bryerson used to be good friends. McCollin, huh? Yes, he was a radio operator in the Air Force, if I remember correctly. Don't let them see us. They're everywhere. Anything else, Mona? Oops. Uh, no, sorry. That's all, Officer Halcroft. Thanks. Sam McCollin? Oh, so handsome in that Air Force uniform. Such a nice man. But then there was that whole business with that swamp. The swamp? What about it? Oh, he got so angry at the city when they wouldn't do a landfill at the swamp that he hardly ever goes outside. Oh, I haven't seen him in years. I see. Well, thanks a lot, Mrs. Bryerson. You've been a big help. My pleasure, dear. Bye, Bye Mrs. Mrs. Bryerson. Bryerson. <sighs> and the weather for tonight is partly cloudy with a chance of shadflies. <laughs> Wetter, warmer weather has meant more shadflies in town than I have ever seen. Now, This isn't a joking matter. Okay, if we're going back to that creepy house, we'd better be prepared. Two flight pattern redirectors. One bottle of fumigating fog mist, lemon-based, non-harmful to the environment or humans. And some binoculars, so we don't have to get close, if we can help it. 
Looks like they're laying low for now. Oh, wait a minute. He's getting on his radio and sending out a signal. And a 10-3-4. Copy. They're coming from inside the swamp. Four in the sky. Oh, no. I think we've been discovered. Prepare for battle. <laughs> nice work, Satman. 10-4, Flyers. Keep eyes in the sky. We get a 10-33. They're coming in too fast, Mona. I'll send up a wall of fumigating fog. Make that a 10-19, Sky Eyes. You copy? A 10-19. It worked! They're retreating! See how they came right up out of that swamp? That reminds me of one of my Sludge Man comics, when Sludge Man had to battle an intraterrestrial invasion. A what? Intraterrestrial. Extraterrestrials are from outer space, and intraterrestrials are also aliens, but they live in the center of the Earth. Sludge Man comic, huh? Okay, to Zatman headquarters for some research. Are you sure you have it, Zatman? Pretty sure. It was definitely Sludge Man number 37. Or maybe number 34. You mean the one where intraterrestrials invade the town by coming out of fire hydrants and sprinklers? Right! Now I remember. The intraterrestrials took over the whole town and made everyone their slaves. So that's it. They're planning an invasion of the town and probably, eventually, the whole planet. That sounds about right. But why would they get McCaldin to help them? Because he's got a grudge against the town because of that swamp. And he's a radio expert and can help them plan their missions. He's a perfect accomplice. Well, how did Sludge Man defeat them? Uh, that's in issue number 38. Um... While you're looking for that, I'll do some checking into CB radios. I'm guessing that without McCollin's radio signals, they'll get all confused and disorganized. So why the sudden interest in my old CB radio, Mona? Uh, Dad, that's classified information. Oh, right, of course. Well, there's really nothing to these. You just choose a channel here and speak into the microphone. Breaker 1-9, Breaker 1-9, plastic pony on the blower. Got your ears on? Keep your eyeballs peeled for a husky doing a flip-flop. Okay, got it, Dad. All you county mounties, white lightning's okay, in the Okay, Dad, I get the copy. message. Over and out, Roger, copy. Here, this guidebook should help. Thanks, Dad. Not a soul in sight. The whole town is scared to even go outside. Oh, well, it is 6.30 a.m. Did you two find out any more about intraterrestrials? Our theory is that the Funky Swamp is really a portal to another dimension, a gateway to an underground civilization for the intraterrestrials. So eventually we'll have to figure out a way to seal off that swamp or drain it or something. Good work. Oh, and I've got our secret weapon, my portable alien repellent transmitter courtesy of my dad. Let's head out. We need to proceed with extreme caution. McCollin! 10-12 and a 10-3-4. Copy. He's calling for the intraterrestrials. Battle stations! We got a clean shot ahead, Micro Squadron! They seem pretty mad! Hey, we're getting good at this! 10-9, you airborne munchkins! 10-9! He's calling in reinforcements! We're way outnumbered! Time for the fumigating fog, Miss Princess Giant! So much for that! Ha 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 ha! I've got another eye in the sky on the moon! Uh-oh. Time for Operation Transmission. This is Vampire Girl calling to terminate 1019 Invasion. Copy? 1019 Invasion, cancel! It worked! I've broken his transmissions. The intraterrestrials look confused. Oh, no! Now they're attacking him! Come on! Let's go help him. Ah! Breaker 1-9. Breaker 1-9. The 
lose this vampire girl. There's too much static, Mona. What do we do? I've got an idea. Hold them off for one more second, Zatman. Thank goodness. Thank you, young lady. Those shad flies are driving me kind of crazy. I've told the city over and over that the swamp needs to be filled. Hey, come and see! Hi, kids. Mr. McCollin, Mrs. Brierson and I persuaded the mayor that if we did a landfill of this swamp, the shad fly problem would go away. That's perfect. The landfill will block off the gateway to the intraterrestrials. Oh, and, um, one more thing, Mr. McCollin. Are you doing anything special this Saturday night? What's all this about, Mona? You'll see, Mrs. Brierson. Party girl, acknowledge. This is Flyboy. Copy? Just say copy. Uh, copy? Er, uh, uh... Would you like to go see a movie with me this Saturday, Edna? Why, Sam McCollin, sure, I'd love to. Okay, pick you up at seven. Oh, my, I only have three days to get myself an outfit. Vampire girl, this is Flyboy. Copy? Yes, Flyboy? Thanks, Vampire girl. My pleasure, Flyboy. That's a big 10-4, good buddy. <laughs> 